Hey guys, I'm back again with another deck guide. Uh, this one is uh, a growth and order deck. Um, I had planned to release this deck a couple of days ago, uh, if you're paying attention to my last video. Uh, but then they released new scrolls, and uh, this one in particular. So I need to do some more testing and uh, finalize the build, and this is what I've uh, ended up with. Uh, for those of you who don't know the history of this deck, uh, this used to be the best deck uh, in Alpha when the minimum deck size of the deck was 40. Uh, then it increased to 50 and it became impossible to play. So we're trying to revitalize it now and it's doing quite well. Uh, so the idea is to just have really, really quick creatures and ramp up as quickly as possible. So we've got, uh, we'll start with a ramp. Um, we've got summons and the memorial. So I'll just do some. Uh, of this, yep, so I can see clearly. We can see clearly now the system of Fox has gone. Uh, so we've got summons, uh, this is something that I came up with a while ago. Um, a summons deck, in fact. No. I thought I got rid of that. Oh, go away. Um, so yeah, summons finds you a structure, and I thought, well, if the only structures in the deck are memorials, then you'll get memorials each time, won't you? And that sounds good, so. Uh, these are to ramp up fast, uh, memorials gain you uh, resources of another type, uh, so we've got order and growth obviously. And yeah, so that will ramp uh, quickly at the start of the game, and later in the game as well, where it just gets a bit uh, a bit extreme. Um, likewise with creatures, Eye of Eagle um, finds you cr only finds you your next creature, so if we have a limited number of creatures, uh, we're guaranteed to get one of those each time, instead of filling them with a lot of rubbish. So we've only got Kinfolk Veterans, Ragged Wolf, Sister of Foxes, and this new thing called no AD or no idea. Um, so let me just do this a sec. Don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. Uh, so Sister of a Fox is there to cycle. We want a lot of uh, card draw on this. Um, so we've got the best creature in the game in Kinfet Veteran, that's really quick. Uh, Ragged Wolf, more haste, that's pretty good. And it's nice and cheap, so it works with God Hand. Uh, this thing is insane. Uh, it's not very good when playing against energy, but it's still a 3 2 2 creature for 3, which isn't too bad. And if you're playing against a mono growth deck, then you gain growth. If they play it, uh, they will gain growth and order. When you play another one, you gain growth and order, so it gets a bit stupid that way. Um, usually, you don't really get this out turn 3, so the dream start of getting Kinfoot Veteran out uh, immediately afterwards doesn't really, really happen too often, but. They're very good. Um, you should get up to about 16 growth quite easily if you manage to get them there. But yeah, they they really make this deck uh, work. Uh, and Sister Fox, what you mentioned, is where it's just to draw more scrolls. Right. Other things. That's that. And we've got the draw. Um, uh, there you go. Fertile and Heritage. Uh, first of all, probably the best draw scroll in the game, uh, so that gets you three scrolls whenever you when you sack a creature with this. And Heritage is uh, a little enchantment that draws you two scrolls when the enchanted unit dies. Uh, so stick a Heritage on Sister Fox and play first of all, makes you happy. Uh, so that can draw you a lot of scrolls, and you also try and draw scrolls so you can find the Eye of Eagles and summons, so you can keep ramping, drawing, and playing things. Uh, and then you want some control aspects. Um, so we've got Divine Mark. Which is a very useful enchantment, which don't play in uh, any other deck apart from this. This is the only deck it really works in, because you can just put it on a Kinfoot Veteran. Uh, your Kinfoot Veteran will attack, you'll be like, yay! And then I'll destroy it with a Great Wolf or something, you'll be like, no! But you get your Kinfoot Veteran back to your hand, and whatever destroyed uh, your Kinfoot Veteran will go back to their hand as well. So it allows you to control the tempo of the board uh, quite easily. Um, also, you can stick it on this thing, can't you? And gain more things. That sounds good. Or you can put it on Sister Fox and play First or Soul, and get Sister Fox back, and play Sister Fox again. Don't do that. Well, you can do it. Uh, control the board as well. We've got Quake, obviously. That's just board wiping. You kind of need it, otherwise you're in trouble. Um, uh, what else? Decimation. Decimation's in to help you win the game and do a bit more damage to creatures. You're going to constantly want to try and pound their creatures out of it into dust, otherwise you're going to get everyone quite quickly, since we haven't got a lot of creatures. And they haven't got quite as much health as you'd really want. Uh, so Decimation will help you uh, destroy early turn uh, like Vase of Wilds and things if you go down the order route. I tend to like to go down growth, but uh, if you go down order, Decimation will help you with that. And also, 
Uh, you'll probably be able to do about half the damage to idols just through playing decimation throughout the game as well. Uh, so we're very good for that. And also you can leave uh, an idol on 2 health and you know it's going to be dead when you draw decimation, so that's good. Uh, and last but not least we've got some little order scrolls here. We've got pushback to help control the board, like pushback a great wolf and kin fight yards and thing, and uh, gravelock elders as well. Uh, if you play, uh, say opponent's got a uh, one health gravelock outcast out and a gravelock elder, you can push back the elder and the outcast will die because it loses the health boost from the elder, so you can do that. Pod this there, just really draw you another scroll and get you through your deck. Uh, it's a uh, target unity move ability, can be quite useful uh, if they've got awakening stones or something, but. Uh, yeah, you can play that and make your kinfoot and attack something, can't you? Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, Kabonk is uh, just a little thing to just do a little bit of damage to Vator Wars and things. And draw your score! And that's what you want. So do a bit of rearrange. That is the deck. And so, yeah, pr the previous video I put up showed me playing a different version where I had kinfoot brave into this and Vator Wars into the Pother. Something along those lines, I can't remember quite uh, how it looked, but. Or was it Ragged Wolf? Something along it, I don't know. And uh, yeah, that proved to be insane. And uh, this is a bit better. So I'm going to hop, you can see it's affected my ratings, like testing all these decks. I've been testing mono, weird mono growth versions as well. And energy in order decks. So I've lost about 100 ratings due to that. But uh, yeah, that's not good. We'll try and do uh, that later. And in fact, now, because I'll go into a match with this game and see if I can make it better. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm playing against Navi, who's ranked 74th. So we should hope it be a good game. Uh, hello, I'm pressing buttons! And oh, it's not working for me. And this is a very, very, very good starting hand. Uh, thank you. Because uh, no order spells, so that's pretty good. If we want to go into growth. Oh, excuse me. Want to go into growth straight away so we can play quick. Uh, well, let's get rid of Stim Pump more here, actually. Okay. Now because he's gone first, I don't think we're going to want to play the Ragged Wolf, we're probably going to want to play that like turn 5 and Fertile Soil it. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind. No Kinfoot Brave. Yes! It's looking promising. Um, I think two Fertile Soil might be just a bit too much. I think we can get away with one. Right, so we'll play the Stone Pumpkin Memorial. In case I draw a woodland memorial, then I can do things, and if I draw summon, so I can play that and all sorts of things. Gives me access to Pother as well. And there's a ragged wolf, okay. Uh, right, so there's the woodland memorial. Um, we're going to have to go into order here, and think the only thing we can get rid of is the ragged wolf. And we'll try and first our sort of a kinfet veteran uh, when it's time instead. Play System Fox before we sack. There's more options. Uh, Kabonk, we'll just get rid of the growth. Hopefully, it will survive uh, so we can first our sword it. If he does play a Crate Wolf, I'm just going to play the Kinfoot Veteran because uh, if I can get three damage on this, then uh, its health will be reduced to two, which means it will die to quick. And there is it. And that's first our sword, which is good. Now, could go into growth, but I think it seems very when I want to go to six. Uh, sacking for growth here would be uh, a bit of a mistake, so we can just play Wooden Memorial here. I could sack for growth, but I don't need to, so I'll sack for order instead. Uh, this next turn, if I want to play quick, I can sack for growth and players. I have played a couple of ranked matches before this video, so uh, I lost the first one, the second one, but they were uh, weren't with this deck, so you will notice a slight change of rankings at the end. If I win, of course. Uh, so we'll play that. We'll gain a bit of growth. Uh, I want to play Sister of a Fox. However, I don't want to sack anything in my hand for growth. But I don't want to sack it, so I'm going to have to sack it for resources here. Uh, 
I've still got a very good hand. He's in order as well, uh, so that means our uh, no ideas will help. That's what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him no ideas. Oh, Stone Pack Memorial, Eye of Eagle, okay. And a kin for Brave. Um, I can't kill that at the moment, but I'm probably going to draw something. Uh, we'll get rid of God Hand here for scrolls. We've got a Kabonk, so that gives me an answer here. Ask me to run a kin for Rest in. The fact that he's got a stone pack memorial means he's probably got some quite highly costed old scrolls as well. Um, so we're going to have to really try and stay on top of things. So sure what he's going to have here. It costs five growth. Um, second of scroll still, so that's a good sign. Okay, um, so we can stick a heritage on the kinfolk vessel in here. I will sack it for scroll, uh, fertile soil. Uh, this means I get it goes back in my deck and I find it with Ivy Eagle again. Uh, and we'll sack for growth again. Get rid of summon so we can play on no Addy or no idea. That gains a small order and more growth, so that's pretty good. So in comes a kinfolk veteran. I know the audio is not off, it's just me predicting things. Pretty obvious though. Um, I'll decide how I'm going to kill it. I think decimation and kinfolk veteran will do that. Uh, so yeah, we'll do just that. Play decimation. Kinfolk veteran, I will protect this one with a stone pack memorial here. Uh, We'll play with some uh, Ivy Eagle, rather. And we'll get rid of a Quake for... Um, some growth, actually. Because if I protect my Kinfoot Vestment with a Ragged Wolf here... Probably should have played the other way around, but... Well, I should have. But <laughs> and get away with it. And it won't wait next to like a player, God Hand. If he plays things. Okay, he's gone for Quake instead, that's not good. I'll stick a Heritage down. Uh, still getting out them Memorials. Um, so I'll play for Heritage. Get rid of God Hand here, we don't need this. Uh, Divine Mark's good. Uh, and I'll move them down here this way. I don't know. It doesn't really matter if he's got a kinfoot veteran. If that wasn't enchanted with Divine Mark and he had a kinfoot veteran, uh, that way he'd have to play one here and it's unprotected. Uh, doesn't make a difference, does it? Let me just pot it. Okay. That's the kinfoot veteran. So we both go back to our hands. He's now up to 9 growth, same as we are. Um, so we're going to carry on ramping a bit. Let's draw some scrolls, ramp, ramp, get rid of pushback I think. He's definitely playing a very similar deck to mine, isn't he? Okay, uh, so here I'm going to give a Ragged Wolf Kinfoot Veteran option over the playing Decimation Kinfoot Veteran. Uh, we'll get rid of Quake. 
got another one, excellent. Uh, I'll play Pother as well, just to draw another scroll. And that'll do nicely for now. I put Divine Mark on there, but I like to save them for my Comfort Vessels instead. Doing much. He's got a Kinfit Veteran of his own. Um, and a Ragged Wolf. Okay. Um, well I can play Quake and Kinfit Veteran here, but that'd be a bit stupid. Um, I think we'll just carry on doing things with Divine Mark and Kinfit Veterans. Uh, we don't need pushbacks, he hasn't got anything we want to push back, so I think that's a bit of a waste. We'll scroll this game. Uh, I'll play Sister the Fox to protect the Veteran. I've uh, got a first saw, so that's pretty good. Um, I was tempted there to move his sister fox out of the way in case he has got a decimation or something. Uh, that way I uh, play first saw on it next turn, but... No. <laughs> I'm just going to play Decimation, I think. Don't see why not. Uh, Heritage, okay, that might be why. I still think it's got to die. Uh -huh. So, we'll play first, I'll solve first. Move out of the way. Let's act back for the growth. I think we've got enough scrolls in hand for now. Play the Woodland Moor in front of a Kinfolk Veteran, so I want to protect it still. Um, we'll keep all the Kinfolk Veterans as well. Or one. Oh, definitely winning though, because we're way out in front in terms of resources. I've got plenty of Kinfoot Veterans bouncing back to my hand. I've essentially got one Kinfoot Veteran, that's going to come back to be a second, three, four. It's just bouncing it back. Okay, that's interesting. And he's just playing Kinfoot Veterans. Um, um, okay. I think this is a perfect time to play the Quake I've been holding on for for ages. Uh, and play the Veteran and the Divine Mark. I'll get a pushback. Check the Veteran. Actually, I don't need to because I've got summons here. Have we get a Woodland Memorial? No. Uh, I've got Heritage instead, so I can go on there. I've got a God Hand though, so that's pretty good. So he's now on 10 growth, we're on 13, it's 6 order though, so... Um, I think the plan is to keep controlling the board and gaining more resources, because he doesn't appear to have any, uh, no ideas. So... We'll do our best to keep sacking for resources, and keep going. Next turn I might be tempted to play Kinfoot Veteran in God Hand actually. Let's do a lot of damage. And again I might not be tempted. 
probably going to quake this soon. Kabonking Decimation, alright. Is it going to play Decimation? Yep. <laughs> I know what's going on. So the game minimised for some reason, which means I had to stop the recording for a minute. Um, but nothing happened. As you can see, just passes go. So uh, we'll keep hold of God Hand. We'll get rid of Quake since we're not under any pressure. I think we'll put Divine Mark. No, we won't play Divine Mark, are we? That would be silly. Um, actually. Um, Hmm. No, we'll stick with a strategy of just waiting. I will put Divine Mark up that way. <laughs> I think I've got enough Kinfet Vestments to be get, getting on with. Looking for brave isn't in the deck. <laughs> it's just never get to attack with it. It's not fast enough for what we want. Okay, comes back to my hand. It's now on one health though, so that's not brilliant. It's now on naught health, so that's not brilliant. Um. Right, I'm going to go for it now. I'm going to play things and hope to get a god hand in the next turn. Uh, now we'll get rid of a decimation. I think Kabon could be better because it allows us to draw a scroll. We'll put the heritage down because we we'll definitely want to take out that kinfolk veteran there. Right, so we're taking out an idol. We're ready to god hand next turn. If all if we lose all our creatures due to god hand and things, we've got a plan here for our source to draw more scores. We have 16 growth and 10 order. I think we can definitely afford to make this play. There's one quake, that's what we're expecting. He's got a ragged wolf. It's got heritage on it, so we do do draw two. <laughs> He's got a divine mark on it. Okay. I might just try and attack it to get my kinfolk version back. Back pother and stuff. So let's first of all draw some scrolls and play pother so I can kill that. I can also play this, give me more resources. Uh, so I haven't sacked for anything this turn. Um, play Kabonk on that twice so it's Divine Mark, it doesn't affect our creatures. Get rid of pushback. Play Woodland Memorials because they're fun. Now up to 19 growth and 11 order. And 
of a quake. Fantastic. Might try and go for it next turn, actually. God hand will juice us down to 11 growth. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's an idol here. 3 order and another 5 growth. So we'll find some creatures. Might be able to take out a couple of idols. Let's see. Don't really want to get rid of a fertile soil. Um, so I'll play Sister of a Fox first. Let's draw me a scroll. I'll pull the my own creature so I can draw again. I'll get rid of a stone pack memorial. We'll pother that. Got Kinfolk Veteran, so we've got enough damage there to destroy an idol. Along with uh, decimation, of course. Um, I think we'll just god hand now, and we'll play heritage on there. Get to a point where we can both just do ridiculous things. Let's hope the fertile soil to get back my scroll. So I've got a heritage of one of my creatures. So I've got a god hand in my hand. I've got decimation to take out the idol. He's pushed it back, so that's good. That's five damage once I put god hand on it. If he doesn't manage to take out my kinfoot vessel up there, I win. Good, right. Uh, just to make sure, uh, I can just do things here. Um, just because I can. Going, keep going, keep going. We first I saw it as well. <laughs> I got a ragged wolf, so that's good. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. So yeah, there's a there's a turn. Uh, tried to take out another idol, but couldn't manage it. GG. There you go. I'm up to nineteen twenty-two now. So that's good. Um. So yeah, I'll see you next time when I find a monogrowth build, but well, I can't bother doing monogrowth. So annoying! But you want it, don't you? So, yeah, guess I'll do it. Well, that'll be a while, because I'm having fun with this deck at the moment. So, see you later. Goodbye.